I don't call myself a Hebrew. But the brothers and sisters today that call themselves Hebrews, they are not disillusioned. They are reading things in that book that is intimating that they are the chosen people. They are reading things in that book that is giving them the impression that you guys or somebody else are a cursed people. And now we sit here with you guys giving us the Hill the World story, and I love it. It sounds great, and it's amazing. The only problem is... That's not coming out of those books that you guys are reading. Now, if you want to create a new doctrine, I love your doctrine. It sounds dope. I hope there's more of you guys around. You guys are some of the flash people that I know. I, it's a cool doctrine. But there's something going on in that book. And I know my brothers in the community are not tripping. They are reading things about people being cursed. They're reading things about them being God's chosen children. They're reading things about who, who they can have sex with and who they cannot have sex with. They're reading things about the... The illegitimate Jews or the false or the fake Hebrews or the ones that are not God's seed and how to deal with them. They are not making these things up. My brothers, who I don't oftentimes agree with about certain things, but I'm not going to sit here and act like the brothers in the community that say they are Hebrews just made all this shit up. And you guys got the real perspective, because then what was they reading this whole time? And don't tell me that they are disillusioned. Don't tell me they're not reading about chosen people and cursed seeds. But now you come here, and no one's cursed. And it doesn't even make a reference to, to blood. There's no bloodline. There's, there's no lingage. There's, the, all of that is moot. It's null and void. We're all a human family. Hell no. It doesn't say that in that book. So this is a lie. This is, this is where the problem is. So... It's not so much that he's coming with a doctrine of peace and love. I don't have a problem with that. It's the fact that he says he's a Jew. It's the fact that he says he makes subscriptions to the Torah. And since he's saying that, the things that he's saying is contradicting the things that are going on within that book. Maybe you don't get this part. This is the part that you got to get. A great deal of the confusion coming in the community is coming out of the religious belief system that you guys subscribe to. Now you get on camera and you are totally oblivious to the sectarian aspect of it, the totalitarian aspect of it, the racial aspect of the doctrine, the cursing of the God, the putting one group of people over another people. And now you sit here and you smile in our faces. You actually are smiling. You are looking like you are in, in awe or like you are flabbergasted. Like, where is this guy coming from and getting this information? We are not crazy. You got to keep it real. I have been real. Hey, yo, for the Hebrews that's out there, man. I want y'all to load up that chat room of all the verses where you guys are the chosen people of Israel. Because for some reason, these guys don't know nothing about that. They never heard of that. This shit is the biggest conspiracy I've ever seen in my life. I've ever heard in my life. I've never seen people subscribe to the Torah totally oblivious to the chosen people of Israel. I've never seen this a day in my life. You guys are amazing for that. Yeah.